Thank you. Uh, well, uh, how would I do it? So, uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, rather than you guys, you go to the consumer to consumers, I'm uh, sorry, business to consumers, I go from the business to business. The main uh, line is to uh, change the SWIFT, SWIFT system. Maybe have you heard about the SWIFT system? So, the SWIFT system is the system that we use every single day for banks to clear transactions, say from Russia to the United States, from Russia to Indonesia, from Russia to from the United States to everywhere in the world. When I wire money, they ask me for a SWIFT code. Yes. That's it. A okay. SWIFT code okay. also. Okay. And uh, this is the main point is that uh, it goes political also because now it's controlled by you know the main European Union, United States, and all of the international organizations which, as we know, the United States dollar is, is a strong, you know, an international reserve currency because it's used for, you know, main central transactions, which is, you know, guns and, and uh, also uh, oil, which yeah. is the petrol dollar. Yeah. Um, and we know now that there's other currencies that, you know, pop up, cryptocurrencies, well, uh, maybe you've heard about several currencies, which is Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin, in this case, is a currency that is easily transferred between workers, which I think is the main way of a clearing system other than you know, the normal mainstream media that says you could buy you know, coffee or or any goods and services with a Bitcoin. Right. You definitely maybe have heard about the speculation that has shot up like to a thousand dollars a couple of months ago and went down to 200 and people just see it as a way for speculating. I don't see it as a way for speculation, but as a way for clearing transactions. <coughs> so um, I started this project, it's called Bitwire. It's bitwire.com. Uh, I don't know how to put this in. Just yeah. once you select the... Uh, okay. Perfect. You, you can open your... You Are know, you giving raspberry bitcoins if we register? But I, I just found out one bitcoin is 200 freaking dollars. Right. <laughs> but it's divisible. So, <laughs> so you don't buy only one, but you can buy like 0 0.5. Two hundred US dollars? I thought US dollars the most. Two hundred dollars? Like two thousand? I'm not on the atlas. It was about two thousand. It was one two thousand. It was. Oh, it was. But it yeah. went down. When? Long. When was that? Last year. I don't remember when it crashed. Oh, jeez. It was a bubble. Yeah. Yeah. So is it at its low right now? No, I don't have any speculation. <laughs> the main thing is, uh, as you see, your remittance usually is the main problem in this world. Six hundred billion dollars is going on remittance, and the remittance, as we can see, is the remittance that is done through PayPal. That is, you know, how much? Fifty billion dollars. There's fifty five hundred fifty billion dollars more in cash to cash transactions. That's good to be connected. Thank you. Thank you. And what's and the better like Western Union, Zoom, Western Union, Union. And everybody else. Yeah. Um, you know. So what's the solution? The actual use of, you know, remittance is the farmers say in Nigeria and Tunisia, in Indonesia that needs cash to cash transactions. Yeah, every, every coast, all these, right. they don't have PayPal. And, and, you know, there's no solution for electronic, you know, payment to do these things, except if there's a cash, a cash and system, which is the ATM that creates it, and, and a back-end system, which, you know, supplies this, you know, this remittance thing, yeah. which is Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies, Right. and a cash to cash end system which can you know is an ATM. So I started this project last one and a half years ago with my friends in Indonesia. Everyone told I was crazy, so I I think that oh, I think I'm gonna start in San Francisco. 
I'm a scholar right now. I'm a financial engineer uh, at North Carolina State University. I'm a Fulbright scholar. I'm just 23 years old. I just graduated like two, awesome. yeah, two years ago. And I try to have my luck here. So I create, create a system, and the system is back end. What I'm trying to now pre try to preach is the HR. That's well, Pipa was looking for solutions, so you should go so, see them. Yeah, sorry. Because Pipa was looking for a solution to that problem. Okay. If you have the solution, go see Pipa. I don't think I should see Pipa. <laughs> no, because okay. they would yeah. buy your company if it's yeah, a good I'll idea. I'll, I'll try to see, you know, any interested. No, I mean they're doing research in that oh, in that awesome. field right now. Oh, how awesome. to deal with people who don't have paper. What's the website again? Bitwire.com. Bitwire. What's the wireless? The wireless. Uh, the network one. The Wi-Fi or the one that's the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is the Wi-Fi. Oh, the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Queen Deep Shared Office. Queen Deep Shared Office. I don't know what's the password. Oh, so it's welcome with a capital W. Welcome. And then number two. What's number two? And and then the capital W, capital T. <gasps> Before you launch your idea, did you check with PayPal because they're doing research right now in that? No, I checked, but I'm basically, you know, I basically want to create. I basically want to create like a, you know, just a project. Uh, for this and you know not like make a big thing out of it first I love to start small and I actually started the backend system and I, and I said all my friends from Fulbright want to send money from the US government back to the home and they're like hey Debbie could you help me you know send me money like you know a thousand dollars to back home and I did send it and several people wanted to send back here so I you know made it together. Did you bank wires? Sorry? We do bank wires. No, not not with bank wires. Totally with my system. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, so actually, your capital control that you told me, I could go uh, bypass that without any government regulation going in. Yeah, but like, isn't that you know? I, I don't know. I don't know the. the of course, it should be legal. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. there are set. So much central banking regulations for currencies that actually I hate. I'm a libertarian. I, I believe that central bankers should not, you know, give regulations to currencies, and this is one of the ways to go to this. Yeah, but like what I don't understand is what uh, you know. I've heard a lot of companies that do uh, these things, like you know, transferring the transferring money and. Converting when you covering the, the, yes. uh, the risk for I do I do that all the time. Yeah, I uh, do get all I do. I met the uh, CEO of ZipZap last year. I don't know if you know the company. ZipZap, yeah. yeah. Coinbase. You get to check on the legalities uh, in some countries. I did. I did. Yes, and so what is your thing? Like, what well, is your competitive advantage? Or the, the, the competitive advantage that I have is that I have an open source exchange. The main backend system. The problem is that the legal fees, the legal fees, the transaction fees, and the banking fees are so high. We need to lower them down. And what I think is that. Someone needs to create an open source exchange and a centralized data feed so that you know all of the exchanges uh, in each country just you know gets gets all the orders and there's a centralized data feed to see who actually has the lowest price of the whole pool. So it's actually like creating a small Wall Street for the global, global financial market, which which then basically you know, creates creates the main advantage of, of, of Bitwire is that you actually don't need to own the system. You only need to create the you know have the all you know the back end systems of just you know the interface between the consumers and the exchange. That's all. So that's my idea. I executed it well. I have the back end operation systems already right now. Um, I I'm not looking for funding, I'm just looking for friends to talk to. So, yeah, just developers, everyone who is just a libertarian who just loves a dream, 
you know, create a global currency in a, in a fr frictionless currency? Or something? There's something similar. It's called like foreign wire. I don't know if you looked at I, all I've the. I've heard like foreign wire or metal lead. Yeah. Is uh, transferwise in New Yeah, transferwise. Yeah, I use that. Yeah. Transferwise actually needs a bank. It needs two banks in two different, you know, two different uh, countries, and they have they need to have a capital buffer in both countries. And that's a problem. That's a very big problem. <coughs> transferwise. That's all. Okay. That's yeah. That's basically my pitch. Okay, I missed some part of that. That was good. Just promise. Thank you. Great wire. So you're very, 23 year old, still in college, and that's that's your long, you belong to something now, I think. You've only got to start going in there, right? Uh, same age group, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> well, well, so I really had a lot of information. We'll see you at the top then, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Yeah, not going to the top would be just, you know. A cool thing, you know, to work and meet all you guys. It's you, awesome. You should, you should definitely go to some uh, Bitcoin focused uh, events, uh, conferences that are happening. I did. Plug, 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 plug. I did. Yeah. But not not really invested. Yeah. Which one? Plug and play. They had like every once in a week. They had like something. For Focus on Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. I had a friend like who. who That's awesome. We used to go at every meeting, you know, and he started what's, explaining to What's your background? Backhand C++? Oh, yeah. I'm a C++ developer. Uh, yeah, I'm on my mom, I, uh, old time. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's... Because all the financial engineering applications in C++, right? Like all of our backend transactions are used, right? So you're a co-founder? Um, I have six people who uh, does operations in Indonesia, and two of them from Goldman, Goldman Sachs, a couple of them are, you know, just my friends who were in the industrial organization doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was previously with UBS. In Indonesia? Um, in Indonesia. Okay. okay. Oh, my so, so you have the background? Yeah, yeah. I do have the background. I'm going to succeed in that Oh, are you 23? Why did you do all that? You Last year. Engineering and finance and yeah. <laughs> you He's already done all that. UBS. Yeah. So, yeah. When did you start working? Like six I year old? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. I, I started working for the central bank like on my last year of undergrad, and I started to like go to UBS after I graduated. And I I, I hated in the training room because all the they do do is they shout at you and it's not like, I, I, I hate it because when, when the, there's a crisis in the panic, they shout at you, and, you know, that's not the scientific way to, you know, solve a problem. You're going to have investors one day and they're going to shout at you. Yeah, and I, 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 I did got shout out by investors a couple of times too, like, you could do this, you can do that, yeah. it's from Dubai and yeah, stuff. It's like I think Misha was saying, use the term shark. Yes. I don't know why, but that's that's the culture in Silicon Valley. It's like it kind of like makes you tough. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. I, I'm looking forward to that. Like a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start from here. Okay, guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so how was this pitch, guys? That's great. Good. Good. Do you guys know what regard this? No, I would. I would. My feedback would be like, here's what these companies do and this is what I, I do because okay. it's a bit uh, a yeah because for people who hear about Bitcoin and are not like uh, going to events every every week you um, you gotta tell them what's different yeah, from you uh, and transfer wise or you mm -hmm. gotta perfect your pitch yeah break it down practice it yeah, yeah. But within 30 days, how long are you here? I'll be here for three months. Okay. Still a long time. So you got like a week girl. I'll be picking to our own founders program, right? <laughs> yeah, so now you should perfect your pitch and like, you know, and then uh, by the end of like the seventh or the tenth day, you should have like a perfect 30 second, one minute, three minute pitch is ready. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Good, awesome. Guys, we'll call you the night. Thank you. Yeah.